Hello everyone and welcome to a new video, MC Mora here. In today's video, I will be talking about counter pokes or buffers, how you get better at them, where do you want to use them and when, and all of that stuff. Now, if you're not aware, buffering or counter poking is pretty much you doing an attack in anticipation of the opponent, right? Your attack typically is not gonna hit normally, but if the opponent does something like dash or do a punch, you're pretty much hitting them before they get to hit you, right? And buffers are typically you doing a normal move and then canceling it into a special notices. I did a jury crouching medium punch and I also did her light kick, uh, flip kick or hasn't shoot. And nothing came out, right? Because you can't special cancel the move on whiff. The idea here is that say Chun-Li happened to dash into it, the move comes out and Chun-Li gets hit, right? This, this is pretty much the concept of buffer. I feel like the concept as, as it is, most people have an idea about what it is actually, but how do we get to apply it against what attacks especially, and all that sort of stuff is what really makes a difference on how good you are at this. Buffers are sort of reads, right? They don't work against everything, but they do work fantastically against some specific character options. One of the most common ones is dashes, right? Uh, like let's say for example that Chun-Li here is dashing, doing my standing light kick and buffering a light punch wind wheel. This is a great option for Juri or crouching medium punch. Juri's crouching medium punch and her standing medium kick. All of these are really good buffers. So you wanna do something like this if you are thinking that Chun-Li is gonna dash forward. One of the finer details that is important to understand in Street Fighter V is that for the most part when your character is attacking, let's say you are doing a jury standing heavy kick, usually for the most part the hurt box is extended before the head box. So your character can get hit before they can get to hit their opponent, right? So typically you use light and medium attacks for buffer. If you notice Sakura, G, most of these characters are using lights and mediums. The idea is that you're using a really fast attack to catch the startup of a really slower attack. So let's say for example Chun-Li is doing her standing heavy punch, right? Very typical, very standard Chun-Li players absolutely love this. If I'm doing my crouching medium bunch with Yuri, I am able to hit Chun-Li out of her standing heavy bunch. I am hitting her extended hurt box before the attack itself comes out, right? This is where learning when to buffer gets really complicated because it's not something that you can just do 24-7. I mean, you can, it's usually low risk, but the skill of it is understanding the rhythm of the opponent. Now Chun-Li wanna poke, now she's gonna do that back medium punch, now she's gonna do that standing heavy punch, and you preemptively using your buffer to stop her. So does this mean that you can beat all of your opponent's attack on startup? No, it absolutely doesn't. Like I said, there are exceptions. One of the most cool ones in my opinion is Chun-Li's back heavy punch. As someone who played Chun-Li for years, I absolutely love this attack. Now with Chun-Li's back heavy punch, her hitbox extends further than the hurtbox. Pretty much Chun-Li can hit you further than you can hit Chun-Li. So if you try to hit Chun-Li out of it, or you try to preemptively hit Chun-Li, chances are you're gonna get crush counter, right? So Mura, what is the solution to these attacks? Well, for someone, so something like Chun-Li's back heavy punch, what you wanna do is you wanna whiff punish this attack. It does have a lot of recovery on whiff, and Chun-Li will usually do it from ranges where it will not hit you. It is her main counter poke. So you wait for that to whiff, and then you get your whiff punch, right? It is an attack now that have decently long recovery, so you absolutely should be able to whiff punish this. So does this mean that you can only use buffers in the neutral? Absolutely not. You can also use them in your block strings, if you are aware of your opponent tendencies. For example, a lot of jury players, when they do the store, obviously she is minus two. At a range like that, many Shan Li players will try to poke where her back medium bunch or the forward medium bunch, right? That attack is like seven frame startup, so there is a five frame gap here, right? And if you're aware of this as a jury player, what you can do is after your minus two on block, you can, for example, buffer a light kick. 
right? You know that Chun Li is gonna try to take her turn, kinda be overzealous with it and overextend, and then you use your counter poke to catch her on startup. And there are so many other applications where you also can use something like this. I hope that I was able to elaborate a little bit on the concept and how you can get to apply it in real matches. Obviously, how useful this is depends a lot on your character and the opponent, right? Characters like Shan Yi who love to poke a lot are typically more vulnerable to buffers and counter pokes than say a character like Nikali who will mostly play with his tubby normal to counter poke you. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment, it helps the channel so much. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon page and the Discord server page in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.